I understand and consent that the following information will be gathered and utilized for educational purposes by Indiana Wesleyan students. I allow this information gathering and physical assessment to be videotaped and posted on Blackboard for access by faculty and students at Indiana Wesleyan University. The video will be deleted by the student as soon as it has been reviewed and, and graded. I further acknowledge that this is for educational purposes only and the information is not meant to be, um, to be diagnostic. Therefore, Indiana Wesleyan University, the faculty and staff, as well as the students are not considered liable. Can you tell me a little bit about your uh, medical history? Um, they really the only thing is that I do have a history of having gallstones. Gallstones, okay. Okay, do you, is there any uh, history of diabetes? Uh, in the family. In the family, but yes. you don't. Okay. No. And how about um, high blood pressure? Uh, no. No. Okay. Do you have any problems with your uh, stomach? Uh, ulcers, gastritis, uh, reflux, anything like that? No. No. Okay. And how about any problems with your kidneys? Do you have any problems with your, your, your kidneys or your blood or anything of that nature? No. Okay. Um, are you on any health medications? No. No. Okay. Um, is there anything else uh, in your medical history that would help me with this assessment today? Uh, how about tetanus shot? Yes. You had a tetanus shot? How long ago was that? It's been quite a few years. Has it been more than 10? Uh, no, it's a 8. About 8 yeah. years? Okay. So pretty soon you might want to start thinking about needing another tetanus shot, especially if you get cut with um, anything uh, uh, dirty or rusty or stuff on the or something like that. Have you ever had a uh, pneumonia or flu shot? Shot. Good shot. Yeah. Okay. And when would you have that? Um, about two years ago. Two years ago? Okay. So it is flu season, so we'll be needing to get one uh, pretty soon. And we can give that to you before you leave the hospital if you like. Okay. How about a pneumonia shot? Uh, I haven't. Not? Okay. Would you like to have that one uh, done also? Uh, yeah. Okay. And we can give you those. Um, those are good for five years. So you'll need to get a uh, pneumonia shot every five, flu shot every year. Okay. Um, and what is the highest grade that you completed in school? Um, 12. 12 high school, fantastic, okay. And is English your primary language? Yes. Okay. And do you read okay? Yes. Fantastic, okay. And what, do you have an occupation? Uh, no. No? Not at the moment. Not at the moment. Okay. In school. In school, yeah. That's, that's very, that's a lot of work right there, okay. And um, do you smoke? Uh, yes. You do? And about how much do you smoke? Uh, about a half a pack a day. And about how long have you done that? How many years? Fifteen. Fifteen years? Okay. So what we probably want to do is like, get you some literature about smoking and if you're interested in learning on um, steps on uh, uh, smoking cessation, let me know and we'll kind of give you some coaching on that if you'd like to learn how to quit smoking. Okay. Okay. And do you drink alcohol? Um, not often. Not often, okay, just on occasion. Mm -hmm. And when you do, um, like what kinds do you drink? Um, just beer. Just beer, okay, all right. And um, are you single, married, divorced? Separated. Separated, okay. And um, who all lives in your house? Uh, it's me, my mother, and my kids. Okay, all right. So you got a pretty good family going on there, don't you? And, um, Can you tell me about what your beliefs are as far as your religion or spiritual beliefs? Uh, I'm agnostic. Agnostic, okay. So is there anything specific that you prefer that you know we recognize while we're here that we that we can be respectful of? Uh, no. Okay, all right. And if that changes, you just let me know. We'll be glad to accommodate you in any way that we need, okay? Thank you. Um, you have you have any problems with walking or, or dizziness or falling, do you? Mm -mm. Okay. I'm pretty good with that, okay. And um, can you tell me, uh, do you have a lot of help at home? Uh, yeah. You do? Okay. So you go to you know, the work share. And so if you're really sick and you know, if you have surgery, there's someone there that can help you oh, with yeah. keeping up with the household and watching the children. Okay, fantastic. Um, um, have you ever been emotionally or physically abused? Um, no. no. And do you feel safe in your environment? Yes. Excellent. Do you uh, exercise uh, frequently? Uh, walk everywhere. You walk everywhere? Yes. And is that, uh, how about how often every week? Uh, three or four times a week. Three or four times a week? Excellent. Good job. Okay. And um, as far as your family history goes, is there any uh, history?
history and your uh, mother, father, sister, brother of diabetes? No. Cancer? No. Okay, how about um, uh, high blood pressure? Uh, yes. And, and, and my mother. Mother, okay. And how about any heart problems? Uh, yes. My father. To the hospital. I'm, I'm having uh, pains in my, in my abdomen mm -hmm. um, and uh, uh, fevers and I'm nauseous and throwing up. Okay, yeah. But you're not feeling very well then, huh? Um, no. Okay, well, let's take a look. Are 16, oxygen set is 96, blood pressure 122 over 66. That all looks pretty good. Take a quick listen to your voice. Raise it just a little bit for me. Deep breath. Okay. One more time. your belly now. Just listen in. You got four quadrants of your stomach that we have to listen to, two up and two lower. Okay, pretty grumbly in there. Okay, are you feeling any pain? Yeah. Okay, how about here? Yeah, on okay. the upper. Okay, how about down here? No. no. Over here? Mm -mm. Okay, so it's mostly just right in here. What does that feel like? Uh, like it's pushing into my back. Into your back? Okay. From 1 to 10, how bad is that pain? 9. 9. Okay. All right. So, seems like based on your labs that what is, you, know, you were admitted with acute pancreatitis. And um, the doctor uh, decided that based on your lab results of your amylase and lipase, also your pancreatic enzymes that end into your uh, duodenum to help uh, digest your food along with your gallbladder, and those were elevated. You also are looking like you have some low potassium. That's probably from that nausea and vomiting. You're also showing some signs of dehydration. Um, so while you're here at the hospital, uh, we're going to be starting you on know, some IV fluids to help with that dehydration. And we're going to have um, a little bit of potassium put in those fluids uh, to help replace the potassium that you've lost from all that vomiting. Um, I'm going to give you uh, one milligram of Dilaudid for your pain. And uh, we're going to start you on some 500 milligrams of Lidoquin IV uh, to help fight the infection that you might have. Okay, so your uh, goals for uh, this uh, hospital stay is that I would like to see that you have an acceptable pain level. Like, what would be an acceptable pain level for you from 1 to 10? Zero. Zero, okay. Well, let's try to get you at a zero pain within 30 minutes to an hour after receiving your one milligram of Dilaudid. And then um, also with that, we're going to get you down for your ultrasound of your gallbladder, and you're going to look at your pancreas also. We're going to look good, have you have a CAT scan. And also, you're going to have an ERCP done, and that is a test that goes in and looks at your uh, ducts of your uh, gallbladder and your pancreas to make sure that they are not blocked. Okay? And then, so our long-term goal for this hospital stay is that um, if they find a blockage in one of those ducts, then we're going to need to schedule for some surgery to go in and remove the blockages so that uh, we can get those uh, uh, enzymes flowing again. And that will stop the pain that's happening in your uh, abdominal area that, from your pancreatitis. Is there any questions? No. No? Okay. Um, if you need anything from me, just let me know. I'll be right outside. You can use your call aid. The red button calls the nurse. All right. Thank you. Thank you. What's going on? Acute pancreatitis is a sudden inflammation that occurs over a short period of time. The major causes of this will be 
uh, gallstones, and sometimes it's called by alcohol abuse. Um, but in your case, I believe you have a history of gallstones? Yes. Yes, okay, so that's probably what's causing it again today. So um, I've got this literature I can give to you, and that way you can know what to do when you have uh, signs of pancreatitis happening. It is going to be uh, the abdominal pain, when you start feeling the nausea and the vomiting, and that will let you know that you're probably having another flare-up and you need to tell your doctor. Okay? okay? I'll leave this information with you, and if you have any further questions, just let me know. All right,